TND Productions presents Pseudo Cinema. Take me down to the third eye center where the cast is green, the girls are pretty. Take me home, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 what's up? Are these yours? No, but uh, yeah. Are these yours? I have... I found them on your bookcase. Uh, yeah, well, well, it, it, no. Neil I'm... Green? Future no, War? No, no, what is this? No, did I mind? Who taught you to pick out movies like these? You, alright? I learned watching you. People that watch bad movies. Have friends that watch bad movies. Welcome, Welcome to Pseudo Cinema! I'm Peter. I'm Danny. How are you, Peter? I'm doing okay. Cool. It's a nice spring day. Late spring, but nice. Late spring, but nice. Huh? Mid spring. Mid spring. Mid Yeah, it would be mid spring. Speaking yeah. of mid spring, there's some weird diseases going around these days. Um, spring fever? Yeah, spring fever, hay fever, all that stuff. Well, you you have a movie about a, a disease. Yes, I believe it's called XP. The disease, not the movie. <laughs> yeah, the movie. Okay. The movie is called The Time Travelers. What's that have to do with diseases? Is it like what? a time traveling disease? That'd be cool. That would be dangerous. That's that's a disease that, that has to go through time. That's an interesting concept for an. That's can we can we do something like copyright that idea because I like that idea. Yeah, it is really cool. You yeah. heard it here first. Yeah. Uh, it's another movie that we haven't made yet, but uh, in the movie that was made that we're going to watch, it is a made-for-television film from the 1970s. Oh, cool. Directed by none other than the sci-fi legend himself, Urban Allen. Urban Allen, cool. Yes. He did lots of little sci-fi TV things. Uh, yes, such as uh, Lost in Space, mm. Land of the Giants, and The Time Tunnel. He actually reused some of the set pieces from his uh, old series in this made-for-TV film. Wasn't this a uh, film uh, written, or this TV pilot, whatever, written by somebody very, very prominent in TV? Rod Serling. Rod Serling. Yes. Cool. It was to be a... Uh, pilot for a new TV series about time travel, which never really got picked up by the networks, but wanting to use what they had, they ended up uh, showing it as a TV of the week. I think a TV movie of the week. Oh, cool. So yeah. it was like a backdoor pilot. Yeah, that's basically a backdoor pilot. When yeah. you use, you have a pilot that's used as a movie of the week that doesn't get sold to the networks. And it was... It's, it's, uh, I kind of liked it. It had some interesting points to bring up. So if you want to see those interesting points, watch the movie with us. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yes. But we can talk about that after the movie. Right now, on, on the, the show! show. Starting now, by the way. Hey, well, we're that. This is what I started right off. Yeah, the opening titles of uh, yeah. Mardi Gras? The, the opening titles of the movie of the week. Uh, Whoa, hello, Twitter. Aaron Allen, thank you. The Time Travelers. Time, tra it's time Travelers. That just came quickly. Not the Time Travelers, just Time Travelers. Sam and Groom. Groom. Dr. Tom Clinton, Halleck. Curling. Tom Halleck, Francine York. She's been in a lot of films more recently. Mr. Coleman. Coleman. Richard Basehart. He was in, um... The music's really, really groovy. It's very spacey. It was common for sci-fi to kind of really spacey. And they were an hour. Yeah. That was a fun movie to watch. For me, I like 
time travel and uh yeah, well, well, it was a kind of a simple okay. story. It was it was okay. Um, it wasn't a bad movie. Uh, the, the first half seemed to go slow, very slow, very yeah, slow. The, but but then it progressed at, at very at the very what last twenty minutes. It got really fast because yeah, they needed to wrap up before uh to make uh, to, room for to spread out for a movie. Yeah, and right also they time. had to hurry up because I am sure yeah. that uh, there was budget constraints. That yeah, blame it on Mr. Eddie. Mr. Allen wanted to hurry up and meet as well. Um, they, yeah, pacing was a little slow at the beginning. It takes time to build up a good story. Uh, the movie produced in the seventies it had, uh, I guess, very, uh, oh, very rudimentary effects. I mean, yeah. I like the flashing the seventies effect. Where we're, uh, are you talking about where we're then? Uh, Switch to negative. Oh, yeah, that was kind of cool. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. I just, I didn't really see the mechanics of the time machine either. They didn't yeah. go t- time but machine. They didn't get in. It was a some kind of transporter beam that brought them from the present and uh, from to the past. No, well, you have that uh, weird, uh, the, the weird place where they where they um, appeared at. Right yeah, and middle. nobody, nobody saw them just come out of. Thin air. Nobody made a comment. Yeah. It was just almost as if they'd been there the whole time. Who's playing the music? So is this it? A nice, quiet, rural area on the north side. Yeah. This did take off into a series. Will they always appear on a staircase somewhere? I don't know. I mean, if it had, maybe they would have put them in different locations. One thing I kind of had... Now, this didn't have... This is another Irwin Allen series... Uh, that he did about time travel. The time tunnel it had uh, the two main actors kind of just pop into whatever time, wearing the same clothes consistently every time. And those same clothes are the ones that they kind of started with. Huh. And I thought that was just kind of strange. Like, suddenly, they just got their old clothes back. That was never explained in the series. Mm-hmm. And it just likewise... Maybe it wasn't to be explained, or wasn't going to be explained, at least in the first episode. Because this was supposed to be a pilot or yeah. something. Yeah. How they were supposed to appear, or why nobody took any notice of them suddenly coming out of nowhere. What did you like about the, the, the movie? Uh, well, like you said, it was uh, kind of a simple... Uh, it wasn't a movie that you would actually sit down and try to concentrate on every single detail with. It wasn't very deep. You know, but, but it was enjoyable for what it was. Yeah. It was interesting how they built a little love kind of interest between uh, one of the doctors, I guess it was Dr. Um, I remember his name down here. Dr. Uh, Earnshaw and uh, the, niece. the niece of uh, the niece. Dr. Henderson. The nursing niece. The nursing niece. Yes. I, I, I don't want to give away the ending too much because it would be nice if people were in to sit back and just watch it themselves. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, um, it's, it's kind of predictable. They probably, you know, uh, they, they probably caused a few paradoxes. Yes. Yeah, uh... But, but, but then again, we're taking it too seriously, too. Just that gets me on. Um, so one thing that I thought was kind of interesting, and this is typical of Irvin Allen, is that he used some stock footage. Yeah, the, the whole fire, the whole fire scene, it was definitely stock footage. It looked like, uh... Looked like a forest fire or something. Uh, do you think he might have taken that from another uh, show he was uh, involved with or another film? Yeah, he was always known for recycling his material. Yeah, you pointed out uh, during the during the episode too with some of the props. Yeah, some of those props were from the time tunnel, another time travel series mm-hmm. that was actually, I believe, it was on ABC in the mid sixties. Hey, um, save money. Yeah. Urban Allen used Richard Basehart. He um he was was the admiral in um Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea and he played Dr. Josh Henderson. Ah, cool. Yeah. Right. Although in this uh movie he he had a full beard. Um and he always was smoking that big cigar. And I think it was also nineteen seventy one. No. No it wasn't seventy one. It was seventy six when the film came out, but they went back to 1871, and 1971 was the last year that, in the U.S. at least, we could have cigarette commercials. 
Uh-huh. Uh, another connection, another connection to 1931. What's that? 1931. That's when Stairway to Heaven came out. And what really happened this in this movie? Uh, they go, a they big go, stairway. Uh, a stairway that goes from heaven. And then goes back. Well, it's not real heaven. I mean, it's just... It goes in the clouds. They ascend so and descend. Ether. It's uh, stairway to ether. The ether, I guess. They ascend and Other descend worlds. some uh, steps. And then they suddenly appear on a walkway or some steps. The walkway to heaven. If you guys like movies about time travel, let us know in the comments. And you want to stay on topic, us to stay on topic also, let us know in the comments too. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious, have you ever seen this film before? Uh, have, or do you have a favorite time travel piece or time travel movie that uh, you're willing to comment about? And why? Why do you like yeah. it? And uh, tell us about it, maybe, maybe we will check it out too. And probably feature it on this show. Yeah. Well, what have we got for next time? Well, next time you're going to help me pick. Okay. Well, what I have here, I have my trusty hat. Remember the hat episode? But this is not going to be talk on the table. We're not going to answer your questions. So, oh, well. so what you're going to do is you're going to pick. There's slips of paper here with stuff written on it. You're going to pick three slips of paper. Three. And with with d- different characteristics of movies on there. Now, now you're going to tell me what those characteristics are. I have to meet. All three characteristics for the next movie. But, but, if I think a characteristic is kind of weird, I can veto it. Now I have to do two. Alright. Okay. So, you, so you're not going to make it as challenging as it could be. You're going to eh, cheat a little bit. Choose three, either, either one at a time or all at once. Okay, and I have three. Okay. My first criteria is... A blank piece of paper. A blank piece of paper, that's BR. Oh, there we go. Dystopia! Dystopia! Okay, a lot of us good dystopia movies out there. That's better than like, dystopia. Like, uh, like a Mad Max or something. Yeah. yeah. Ah, and the second one! What? Color in the title. Color in title. Okay, dystopia movie with uh, color in title. Red, blue, yellow... I almost couldn't make out that C. What the hell? Your writing is just... Anyway. Okay, well, I rushed it. Yeah, you should have become a doctor. Okay. okay my third one. Let's see here. Third one. No the in title. No the in title. No the. No the in title. No the, no the. Okay, okay. So so we're looking for a no the in title. And dystopian and a color. Dystopian and a color. Hmm. Uh, uh, Blue Washington. I can probably, probably do some cool movies. What is that? I think I think I can do that. I don't need I don't need a veto. I can think of some of those. Really? All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, so the next movie we have coming up will be a dystopian movie with a color and title, and it won't have the word the. It'll be missing an article. Stay tuned no, next time. Specific. But also, before we leave, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget about our merch store. What's there? Mugs. T-shirts, and I believe masks as well. Yeah, masks. With our logo yeah, on it. Yes, logo on the mask and sort of cinema on the it's mask. It's great if you like pool, too, because yeah. this is the eight ball. It's all that bomb that explodes. Yeah. It's explosive. Uh, explosive eight ball, yeah. Yes. Also, don't forget about our Patreon page. Yeah, don't forget on Patreon. Sometimes sometimes we get a little hungry and thirsty when we, when we watch, uh, watch our movies. Uh, we may want to get a nice snack while we're watching movies, so... You can help help support our habit. And help us gr- cause the channel to grow, too. Grow, and our stomachs to grow as well. And get better life equipment. Yeah. All right, all right. All right, sir. So I think that's all for today, right? Right. So then, this has been... Pseudo Cinema! Cinema. You have some terrible movies. Who taught you to watch these movies? You, all right? I learned them from watching, I learned to pick those movies from, from watching you. <laughs>